Welcome to day three of building an AI agent. Today we're going to talk about the AI design system. Why is this important? We need to understand the steps the AI needs to take to produce the desired output. In our case, auto generate customizable plots. The trick here is AI agents are so new that not many people have actually written about how to do it well. So how does one plan for a system for something that has never been built before? The same way you will write any piece of useful code. Clarify the goal and break down into simple steps how to get there. Our goal for the agent is simple. Upload data and auto-generate beautiful interactive charts. To make this happen, we split the system into three main components. The front end, AI and the back end which all need to work seamlessly together. Today, I'm going to cover the AI design part of the system. The design process will evolve as we learn, but the core steps are as follows. One, pick a plotting library. We picked eCharts, a powerful, customizable, open source JavaScript library. Two, transform this library into something the AI agent can use. We are transforming these charts into special web components. Three, rendering these web components in the front end. We're using a method called few shot prompting that helps the LLMs produce the outputs that fit the specific format of Qubit's web component. Then we also have to account for the overall system to upload and handle data, but we'll cover that in a separate video. You can check the comments section for more info and a step-by-step -step guide with the code for every single thing we're doing. Let us know if you have any questions. See you tomorrow for day four.